Uh, welcome, uh, dear viewers, wherever place you are. We thank the Lord for giving us this day that uh, we may continue with the studies that we have been doing on uh, uh, disease. Um, and uh, mostly it is the series of uh, uh, testimonials and uh, healing series. This is where we discuss the diseases that I have had experience with uh, since I became a medical missionary and uh, some experiences in the medical missionary field on how you can uh, generally approach uh, diseases and also deal with specific diseases. So in this series, we'll be giving testimonies to specific diseases, as well as the healing program that uh, uh, we have experienced, used and tested, and also to give a broad know-how on how to uh, deal with uh, the system. I would like to pray, then we go into the study for today. Father in heaven, we thank you for giving us this opportunity that we may come before you and uh, learn about the, the diseases that are affecting the people these days. So give us knowledge and help us to understand you better and understand these diseases better in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, so yesterday, just to recap, we, uh, we talked about diabetes and uh, we looked at uh, some of the nitty gritties on how to go about diabetes uh, type 2 mostly. I gave a broad uh, understanding on how we need to approach and give treatment on the same. So today I'm going to, uh, I'm going to discuss about uh, autoimmune diseases. Now autoimmune diseases are uh, diseases that affect our immune system. You know that the immune system is what protects uh, the body from the pathogens, from the virus, from uh, the bacteria. But uh, sometimes the body may begin to, the immune cells may begin to feed on other good cells as well as uh, affect other organs. So uh, these are diseases that have cropped in in the recent past and many people are suffering from this uh, uh, malfunctioning of the system and uh, others are uh, untreatable. If you go to, the, uh, to most of the hospitals, they will just give the steroids or corticosteroids, uh, but uh, they tell you, you will have to live with that disease until the end. So autoimmune, it comes from the word immunity turning against uh, uh, itself. And uh, most of the times, um, an autoimmune disorder occur when the body's immune system attacks and destroys healthy body tissues by mistake. There are more than 80 types of autoimmune disease uh, disorders. Day by day, uh, these diseases come in and uh, the doctors, the scientists continue discovering. But we know that there is only one disease in this world, and that is the blood disease, impure blood. Because in the book of uh, Leviticus chapter 17, verses 11 says that the life of the flesh is in the blood. So if we want to make sure that any disease that gets into the body or the manifestation of the disease in the body to be hosted out or removed, we have to go to the root cause. Anything that interferes with the normal functioning of the body by affecting the blood will, as a result, bring uh, a turmoil in the whole system. So what are the causes? The blood cells in the body's immune system help protect against harmful substances. So the blood cells, we know the white blood cells, and the white blood cells are categorized into four, uh, four types, and they help to fight diseases of specific 
each of each and every category of the white blood cells has its duties. And then we know the red blood cells that transport uh, the, uh, the amino acids and other blood uh, substances, the red pigment in the body that carries oxygen. And uh, we know the, of the plasma, but basically the, uh, the autoimmune diseases affect the lymphatic system. It affects the limbs, the white blood cells in particular. So example uh, include bacteria, viruses, toxins, cancer cells, and blood and tissues from outside the body. These substances contain antigens. So we have two, uh, two factors here that I want us to consider, and that is the antibodies, the antigens, the antibodies and the antigens. Uh, these are the parameters that the white blood cells actually help the body to maintain. If the antigens um, and the antibodies react together, they will cause antihistamine re reaction or there can be uh, autoimmunity. So the immune system produces antibodies against these antigens that enable it to destroy this harmful substance. When you have an autoimmune disorder, your immune system does not distinguish between healthy tissue and potential harmful antigens. As a result, the body sets off a reaction that destroys normal tissues. So it comes to a point when the, the cells, uh, maybe the T alpha cells cannot identify the right, uh, 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 the, the right enemies or pathogens uh, in the body, they, 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 they just by mistake identify even an organ or a blood cell uh, as an enemy, and then it begins fighting it back. So inflammation reactions uh, will begin taking place. There will be a lot of pain in, uh, in the place that is affected, and uh, the body will begin to deteriorate and deteriorate depending on the organ or the tissue that is affect, affected. An autoimmune disorder may result in the destruction of body tissue or abnormal growth of an organ or changes in organ function. Uh, for instance, uh, if it attacks, uh, if the, uh, the immune cells attack an organ, for example, a pancreas, if there is a pan, if the pancreas is affected, what will result is a pancreatic problem and someone, and most of the times uh, they develop uh, diabetes type one. Diabetes type one is most of the times an autoimmune disease. And uh, uh, sometimes there is an ob abnormal growth of an organ because of the inflammation and uh, and the myopathy that is taking place. Now, another thing is that an autoimmune disorder may affect one or more organ or tissue types. Areas often affected by autoimmune disorders include blood vessels. So your immune cells can affect your blood vessels. If they affect your blood vessels, you may have a disease called cellulitis a disease of the cell, uh, of the blood vessels or connective tissues, the arteries um, uh, or the, the capillaries or endocrine glands, endocrine glands such as the thyroid or pancreas. So if they affect, if the immune cells detect that your thyroid is the enemy, then they go into the thyroid and they begin fighting it they begin releasing and, um, uh, end, uh, endorphins and the prostaglandins hormones that help to destroy the thyroid cell. And then someone may have Hashimoto disease or thyroid problem. And if they go to the pancreas, you have the problem with the, uh, uh, you can have pancreatitis, that is the inflammation of the pancreas, or you can have, uh, uh, you can have diabetes type one. And uh, if they go to the kidney, you may have the inflammation of the kidneys. If they go to the adrenal glands, 
the immune cells affecting the ad adrenal glands may make sure, may end you up having uh, a disease of the, uh, of the added, uh, of the adrenals. So we have the joints, they can attack the joints. So you can have rheumatoid arthritis, they can attack the muscles so that you have muscular diastrophy or red blood cells and you develop uh, uh, pernicious anemia or skin so that you have psoriasis or eczema. So uh, the immune cells just attack certain organs and that attack is, uh, is uh, actually uh, affected, you will have a problem with the body. Sometimes they attack the whole body tissues and cells so that you have complete uh, complete uh, destruction of your system. Someone will be wasting, continuing to grow very thin or sometimes grow very big or sometimes you lose consciousness. It is because the immune cells are fighting your organs. Now, a person may have more than, a person may have more than an, one autoimmune disorder at the same time. Common immune disorders include Addison's disease, that is the effect of the adrenal gland. We have the celiac disease. You become very sensitive to gluten if you eat wheat products, rye, or, uh, or, um, or any wheat product, any substance with the gluten, you will get a problem. Dermatomyositis. You'll have a problem with your dermis, a dermal glands, the skin problem. The Graves disease, that is the disease of the thyroids. It may be um, um, the Hashimoto disease. The thyroids continue to inflare and grow and grow. We have the Hashimoto thyroiditis. We have the multiple sclerosis and uh, myasthenia grandis, where uh, where actually they affect the nerves. The myasthenia gravis and multiple sclerosis are where the immune cells attack the uh, the nerves the myelin sheath, so that there is inflammation within the nervous system. And so someone can go on a convulsion or shaking or tremors. We have pernicious anemia when the cells attack the red blood cells, reactive arthritis, where we have the joints are just flaring. You just feel joint pain all the time. Rheumatoid arthritis that affects, uh, affects also the uh, the joints and you will be experiencing rheumatic uh, inflammations of the joints. And we have the Sjogren uh, syndrome that affects also your nerve cells, the systemic lupus. And lupus is where the organs are being attacked and you experience a lot of uh, uh, soaring or um, it may be um, it may be itching, the skin are just inflaming, and sometimes the face is inflaming, uh, the belly is inflaming. It is a syndrome of uh, lupus. The whole system is affected, and we have type 1 diabetes, and um, we have many other diseases that are, uh, are grouped under the celiac, uh, and under the uh, autoimmunity. And uh, one thing that uh, we need to know that autoimmune diseases are caused by many, many factors. And we have the diet, so the flesh diet, uh, milk, uh, eggs, uh, uh, white meat or red meat, uh, synthesized products, the PVCs, and also uh, another thing that can cause the, uh, this, this problem is uh, genetics. You can be born in a family that has a problem, these problems, and then the child, and as you grow older, they, they follow you. And you know that, uh, not they follow you, they, they, they actually take the action in your body when you affect them by the food that you eat. We know that the heredity holds the trigger, but the lifestyle pulls that trigger. So the, your lifestyle will make sure that you have the disease or 
the disease is terminated by your lifestyle. If you eat plant-based diet, exercise, drink a lot of water, take nuts, seeds, and grains, uh, be in the sun, the body is able to regenerate itself, however, the condition you may be having. Then we have hygiene hypothesis where hypothesis that there is back vaccines and the antiseptics. You know that nowadays uh, a lot of vaccines are also there and they affect our nervous system, they affect our organs, uh, the inoculation procedures harms many of our cells and people end up developing the autoimmune diseases. We have the environment where we have chemicals, heavy metals, infections or stress. And number one cause suspect in the terms of uh, environmental factors is the glyphosate. And that is the Roundup and the chemicals, the herbicides that are being sprayed on the farms. This has caused a lot of destruction of cells in the body. So it, make, it end up making the body to be a servant to the immune cells. The body will be completely destroyed. So heavy metals are everywhere in the water we drink, um, in the foodstuffs we eat, in the air, they are sprayed out. So uh, a lot of chemicals are just around us and this makes ourselves to go to uh, uh, the death, myopathy. So gender affects, it affects mostly women. Why? Because a lot of chemicals outside there targets women. We have birth control pills. Uh, we have the, uh, the manicure, the pedicure processes, the perfumes, the lotions, um, and the air styles. That, that many women love to put. They have chemicals that when they get to the body, they may delete some chromosomes or hamper the chromosomal, uh, uh, the chromosomal uh, uh, touching themselves, the chromosome, chromosome touching themselves together so that they can form a complete strand. So they affect your DNA. Now, how to deal with autoimmunity? There are many factors that we are going to look because I'm looking at them in totality. The procedures that you can follow to make sure that you deal with any autoimmune, any autoimmune disease. Number one is to detoxify the system. We have to detoxify the system. The detoxification process is where we enhance the cleansing procedure of the body because the body is made up in a way that it is able to eliminate waste. And how does it eliminate waste? By you helping it to eliminate the waste. So detoxification is assisting nature in her effort to expel impurities. What are the impurities? The pollutants, the chemical, the glyphosates, the allergens, the histamine, uh, uh, the histamine reactants and uh, the, the x-rays, the vaccines, heavy metals, all these are impurities that gets into the system as well as the acidosis uh, that result from the foods that we eat. So the body must be able to expel these impurities. And then after that, you reestablish right conditions in the system. So how do you make sure that you detoxify the system? Number one, you make sure that you open the elimination channels. The elimination channels like the kidney, you must make sure that your kidneys are working well. And how do you make sure that your kidneys are working well? Drink a lot of water, exercise, take a lot of teas that help to clean your, your, your kidney, like parsley, like lemongrass, like rosemary, like corn silk, like um, couch grass, uvaose, and many other uh, remedies outside there that help you to uh, help your kidney to eliminate. Taking a lot of uh, tamarind tea, taking a lot of um, um, lemon juice, pineapple juice to help you cleanse your kidney. And then we have the liver. The liver must be enabled to 
eliminate the toxins by doing the fermentation, hot and cold fermentation on your chest. And uh, another thing is uh, making sure that you drink a lot of water. Being in the sun is so helpful for your liver to eliminate toxins. And also eating foods that help your liver to uh, neutralize the, the toxins and then eliminate them through the hydrolysis process. And that is cruciferous vegetables, the citrus fruits, the, uh, the apple, apple juices with, uh, uh, with Epsom salt, taking that continually every day to make sure that your liver is working well. Herbs like dandelion, burdock, and milk thistle will help your liver to expel a lot of toxins. And then taking, uh, taking uh, food substances, food supplements that strengthen your liver, like the, um, we, we, we have the minerals like zinc and uh, zinc, vanadium, and uh, chromium. Those are minerals that help your liver. And then you have to open your skin by doing exercise, drinking a lot of water, doing the hot food baths so that the pores can be open to eliminate the waste. And taking, uh, taking nuts, nuts will help your skin to eliminate waste by enlarging the pores. You need to also help your blood vessels and your blood vessels, uh, your blood vessels can be, uh, can be help to eliminate waste by drinking a lot of water, reducing processed products, re re removing, the, uh, removing the foods that are uh, rich in, uh, in acids or purines like the flesh diet and drinking, taking a lot of vegetables and fruits. And lymphatic system has to be opened also. That is the process of detoxifying the body for someone with autoimmunity. Make sure that your body uh, is having uh, proper circulation of blood. You do massage, you do the hot and cold food baths, uh, hot and cold fermentation and food baths to help blood to flow. And take teas that help blood to flow through the lymph, uh, help the lymph fluid to move. Yes, and then drink plenty of water, eat a lot of vegetables, fruits and uh, fruit salads and fruit juices. Now detoxification process uh, is very important when you're doing it with fruits and vegetables. We know that vegetables are detoxifiers as well as um, regenerators. They rebuild the cells. The fruits are specifically for the de detoxification, alkalizing the system, removing the toxins. And so when you are dealing with someone in autoimmunity, make sure that you do the balance. If you give just the fruit juices, you will make the body to go on a higher, uh, higher scale of cleansing and you may experience other troubles in the body. You need to do the vegetable juices and the vegetable salads that will help to rebuild and regenerate your system. And you can introduce some herbs also for detoxification, but I don't like it when you introduce herbs the first because herbs will tear down the cells but will not rebuild. But you need, number one, to work on your diet, the vegetables and the fruits and uh, another thing is um, uh, making sure that uh, uh, the nuts are included to help rebuild and allow the cellular energy to build up. So nuts like coconut, macadamia nut, uh, um, cashew nuts, pecan nuts, Brazilian nuts, but less of peanuts because peanuts are high in acids. Now, the next thing you have to do is to reestablish right conditions. How do you reestablish re right conditions? By proper nutrition. Your food must be having the trace elements, the macronutrients, the, uh, the, 80, the 92 minerals must be 
uh, must be in your diet. So you take a lot of, if you take vegetables, that green leafy vegetables, juices, and the fruits, you are able to actually meet uh, the minerals that are needed. Vegetables are high in minerals, but the fruits are high in vitamins. So the minerals help to, to bind the DNA. Because remember, what is happening here in the autoimmunity, they affect your DNA. And you need something that is going to repair your DNA. And one of the things is the diet that you are eating. Is it rich in proteins that has amino acids? Amino acids are forming the, uh, the chromosomal strands or the DNA strands. And then the zinc is the lead mineral that binds that DNA that has been ruptured together. And then the lipids or the fats help to build a strong cell wall. So you must give a food that is well balanced. For instance, if you give chia seeds and flax seeds and uh, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, you are able to repair a ruptured nerve membrane. You are able to repair a, 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 a gut wall that has been uh, degenerated you are able to make the cells, the stem cells to regrow. Now, that is another line of medical missionary that we need to understand, rebuilding and regenerating the stem cells. Most of the times, our organs are not able to function well because the stem cells are not properly maintained. And for you to maintain proper, um, uh, proper stem cells, you must feed on the right nuts and seeds and then select the fruits and vegetables that help you to rebuild that nerve, uh, uh, your, your nerves. Then rebuild and regenerate the cells and tissues uh, by using the nuts and the seeds. And then you need to do regular exercise, help you with the reparation of the dead tissues. They remove the dead tissues, the calluses, in the skin or when the cell is not actually receiving a lot of oxygen, exercise will help to drive a lot of oxygen into the cells. And then another way of reestablishing right condition is to repair the DNA. In autoimmunity, we are eyeing DNA repair. How do you achieve that? Take foods that help to regenerate the DNA, like cabbage. Cabbage is very good in repairing the DNA, uh, whether, whether white, whether purple or white cabbage, they are good in repairing the DNA. And then we have garlic is so important in repairing the DNA. Another hub that helps us to repair the DNA is called cat's glue. You go research about cat's glue. They help to repair DNA uh, and anything that has affected your, uh, your cells, uh, they are able to, uh, able to, to help in regenerating, uh, regenerating the new cells. And then restore the glandular cells or the glandular system by balancing your hormones and then vitamin D3 uh, to help in gene, uh, gene, uh, gene progression and uh, a gene um, uh, of, uh, to restore, if there is any gene um, mutation, the vitamin D from the sunlight uh, that helps your body to actually absorb the, uh, that's, uh, that vitamin D in the form of vitamin D3 will help to repair the DNA. And then we have vitamin C that helps to reduce inflammation and also boost the accumulation of blood to the cells. And then vitamin A that helps your liver to make sure that it controls a lot of the life processes in your system. And then we can go to this uh, autoimmune reverse formula and that is using herbs like pork root, plantain, cat's claw, and albizia. We have tylosema, echinacea, bloodroot, pagium, 
garlic, turmeric, bagluid, alfalfa, golden seed, lemongrass roots. Now, in my experience dealing with uh, people who are having autoimmune diseases, these are most of the formulas I've been using to help many people. I remember last year there was an old woman, uh, an old man who had have a problem with his child. The child was having an autoimmune disease that was affecting the blood vessels. The child will be weak all the time, bedridden even a month, cannot even stand up and cannot eat. Uh, the tonsils were always inflamed. So this old man calls me and tells me, uh, uh, my brother, I have a problem with my child. Tell me and be exact. Tell me whether this disease can be treated. I have worked in many of the hospitals, very many big complex hospitals in this country, Kenya, but to no avail. The child has to be injected with antibodies every month. If he fails to inject the child, the child will go on a crisis. So he calls me and I tell him, oh, my friend, it is possible. I believe that with God, everything is possible. So this disease, this autoimmune disease can be, can be affected, be, can, be treat, uh, can be treated because he told me, the doctors say that this is an autoimmune disease. The cells are feeding on themselves and it cannot be treated. You just have to maintain it with antibodies and the, uh, and the antibiotics. So I told him, just wait. In, a, in, in one week's time, I'm going to do some serious powerful extraction for you. And then I'll send it for you and you try it out. And then he waited. After one, month, one week exactly, he is calling me, have you succeeded? And I told him, yes, today I'm going to send you the, the, the medicine. When I send that medicine, uh, and that medicine, uh, he took it. I told him just because it was a tincture, it was a very, it was extracted to about 20 times stronger than the normal way you can use this uh, ordinary house. And so then immediately it reached, uh, he took it and by my prescription, when the child took it, the child was having very serious tonsillitis for about uh, two, uh, for about a month. The antibiotics were not working to remove the inflammation. So after 45 minutes, after taking the, the, the remedy, he, the child runs to the father and tells him, daddy, the tonsils are gone. You know, the father was just amazed. He just took his phone and called me back, told me, oh, doctor, or doctor, the tonsils are gone and the child is, is saying that is becoming, is gaining strength. So I told him, all right, we just press the Lord of what has happened. Now make sure that uh, the child is on the right diet, a lot of fruits and vegetables, a lot of nuts, uh, and also the herbs and the remedy that I've given you. And then after one week, he was telling me the child was becoming stronger and stronger. The child had not gone to school for a month. The child was now going to school. And up to date, it tells me the child was healed from that autoimmune disease. So what were the formulas that I used for this autoimmune disease? I used pork root, cat's claw, albizia, tylosema, blood root, garlic, and ginger. I did a, an extraction using the DMSO. What you do is that you take one part of these herbs components, you mix them together, and then you add them into two parts of, of DMSO. Now, DMSO is, an, is, a, is, a, is a very important solvent. It is number one solvent. Anything that dissolving it is able to extract all the properties. So, I did this for about one week so that it can be concentrated. And after one week, I sieve out all the medicinal properties that are not dissolved and then packed it in a glass bottle and then sent it. So uh, if you use the extraction using uh, 
uh, uh, these uh, solvents like the DMSO or vegetable glycerin. But for, for me, I use, I remember I used two extractants or menstruums. That is, a menstruum is what extracts the medicinal properties or dissolve any phytochemical into it. So I use two of them. I use the pork root and I, I use the, sorry, I use the DMSO two menstruum as I go and then added all those, uh, all these, uh, uh, all these herbs. And then after one week, it was very strong. And that is why it managed to work for that. Now this formula uh, has really helped me to deal with many people having autoimmune disease. There was a lady who was having lupus. After one week, he calls me, she calls me and tells me, I believe that this herb is working. This formula, this medicine you sent me is working because I'm gaining strength by strength. And then I have a woman who was having rheumatoid arthritis for about two years. This woman was, has been having flaring pains on the joints and the body getting very weak. After using, I just, that was just one drink. And the following day, the, 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 the person was actually feeling relief. Another thing, another person, the testimony that I can give with this autoimmune reverse formula is that I gave to someone who was having HIV and AIDS. And um, after taking it, I give a dose that could go for about six months. After six months, she tells me that when she, go, when she went for a test, they found that the viral load was a half the number of how it used to be before. So, what I did, because the dose was over, I told him when the dose, I told her when the dose is over, tell me so that I can make you another. So I made another one and I'm waiting to see what will happen. I believe that there is no disease that can defeat the people of God in reversing if we follow God's way. So uh, uh, these are formulas we've been using most of the times to help the people. I had someone who was having a problem with the pneumonia, chronic pneumonia. After checking this autoimmune reverse formula using pork, wheat, pork root, cat's claw, tylosema, albizia, and uh, blood root, garlic, and ginger, and bagluid, sorry, the bagluid was in that formula. Now, bagluid is a very powerful herb that will extract any heavy metal in the body. And bagluid is able to detoxify and eliminate whether it is mercury or uh, lead or tritanium in the system. It is able to extract it and eliminate it. That is why it is a herb that we recommend for people who are having thyroid uh, problem with the inflammation of the thyroid, of the thyroid. That is Hashimoto disease. Bagluid and pork root and cat's claw are becoming the best herbs I've ever met to help me deal with the problems that are affecting the people. Now in the list there, as we see it, plantain is also another remedy that we need, need to, we need not to, to forget because of how it works in the body. It actually seeps down any, and it seeps down and settles any chemical in the blood and through the kidney it is able to be excreted out when you go for a short call or through the colon when you go for a, a, a long call. Plantain herb, you need to search about it and, and do some research. Lemongrass is another one that I don't want to leave out. Lemongrass roots are known to fight any virus, any autoimmune disease, give lemongrass roots. You can do an extraction the way I was saying, either to a seventh power extraction or a tincture made of from DMSO or vegetable glycerin or apple cider vinegar and tech. And I'm assuring you, you will be able to deal with the uh, autoimmune diseases. Now, for those who are having autoimmune disease like celiac disease, plantain is your herb. Plantain herb is the best one for you. 
have a woman who was having a problem with Crohn's disease, that is inflammatory, uh, inflammatory reaction within the small intestines after taking plantain tea uh, for about a month, the Crohn's disease was gone. Irritable bowel syndrome was gone and celiac disease was gone. How amazing that God has given this help in nature. Now, this is a plant called protalaria or slender leaf. This is a vegetable. It is very bitter when you take it. Now, taking a juice made from slender leaf is able to relieve you of any autoimmune disease and also other natural indigenous local vegetables like, um, uh, like pumpkin leaves, um, uh, amaranth leaves, um, spider plant, and uh, cowpeas leaves are able to help people with autoimmune diseases to regenerate very quickly. But try the juice of protalaria for some time and you will see any autoimmunity is, is removed. And also another thing is, that this slender leaf is able to repair the, the, the genes. After taking the juice or eating it as a vegetable, it is able to repair your genes. This is how it looks like. It is slender leaf and very bitter. Some of them are very bitter. I prefer you use the bitter dark green ones. They're very powerful. And then we have the pork root that I've been speaking about. This pork root is a wonder hub for any autoimmune disease, either singly or with combined with other herbs. The roots have the concentrated medicinal properties. So when you get it, you can boil the roots. If you have the powders, you take a teaspoon in a glass of hot water and then steep for about 20 minutes and then take twice a day for one week and then stop for one, for one week and then the other week you begin again until uh, you end a month and then you go for a test. You will see that your autoimmunity will have reduced or been eliminated. So you need also to have things like the immune stimulator, essential oils. And uh, this one I always make for those who are or recommend for those who have been having serious problems with their immune cells. When their T helper cells and the T suppressor cells cannot work normally to fight the, uh, the pathogens and viruses, I recommend clove essential oils, garlic essential oil, black seed oil, neem oil, chia seed oil, flax seed oil with the DMSO. Now, what you do is, you take uh, like 10, uh, 10 drops, not 10 drops, 10 mils of cloves, 10 mils of garlic, 10 mils of black seed oil, 10 mils of chia seed, 10, uh, 10, uh, or 10 mils of flax seed, and then we have, you use about, uh, for that components, the whole of it, you will use about six tablespoons of DMSO. And then shake it well. After shaking it, store in a glass bottle. And then after that, let me just show you. Thing is not around. Basically, I use uh, this kind of bottle to do the extraction procedures. And uh, here, this one is a glass bottle with a with a tight seal, wooden seal. And when I have put all my herbal components in and add the DMSO and shake, and then I can store it. And then I will get a glass amber bottle to use for the storage. That is very powerful for any autoimmune disease. If a child is having a problem with convulsions, if a child is having a problem with uh, um, the problem of um, 
uh, amnesia. You give, uh, with this combination, you just give two to three drops twice a day, and you will have solved a lot of cases. So that is all about, uh, about the autoimmune diseases that I've uh, had experience with. And uh, we must make sure that we keep the loss of health. Most of the times, we don't find result because we don't keep the loss of health. Exercise. Don't always sit down when you're sick. Exercise. Exercise. Well, so I love going for a morning walk where we live. We are living in a very plain area. So in the morning, either run or walk. But walking is the best exercise. And that breeze, that fresh air makes yourself regenerate. And then have proper rest, sleep. Have about seven to nine hours of sleep. Sleep early, not late, and your cells will regenerate. When you're going through this process, you have to make sure that you sleep very early. You must make sure that you are in the sun because the vitamin D help the gene, uh, gene repair to take place. And also it helps the progression of the genes. About 3000 processes of the genes are enabled by the vitamin D. You need to take calcium and uh, a lot of zinc, another mineral that you will be help, you will be taking to boost your immune system or to make sure that your autoimmunity is, is restored fully, is taking B complex. The B complex vitamins help your cells, your nerves, your tissues to be in a, a full complete uh, model that they can actually communicate the, the, the neurotransmitters and the receptors will be working very well. If there are cells that have been destroyed, the B complex are going to help your stem, stem cells to regenerate themselves. Make sure that the bowel are, the bowels are moving well. Uh, your bowels must always be moving well. For every meal you take, you must be going for a long call for it. And that is my journey with the autoimmune diseases. And uh, we thank God that uh, day by day, God gives experience and knowledge and you feel good when and happy and praise the Lord when people call you and tell you, I have gotten a breakthrough. I am seeing a change. I am praising the Lord for what I'm seeing. And each and every one of us here is called to be a medical missionary who is going to bless others. And I tell you, if the medical missionaries were giving themselves to study and research and test and prove, we will be having the best institutions in this world. That is my goal that we have a team of medical missionaries who are able to, uh, to do a diagnosis, an investigation, and to know the true, uh, the true way of healing and the best methods to use and use the best strategies to remove disease from the body. Another thing that I'm not, I don't want to forget is being farmers. We cannot achieve to defeat autoimmunity, autoimmune diseases, if we continue to feed from the grocery. We can never fight any autoimmune disease or even generally all diseases if we continue to feed on diseases or on foods that are grown in chemicalized soils and are sprayed. We can never find that. So what we need to do is be good farmers. Let us be connected to a farm and do serious farm. Make sure that you have good seeds because many people are having autoimmunity because the seeds have been hampered with and so the DNA are also changed. So there's a dire need for those who are going to call for true farming methods. Another thing, be useful to the people. If you meet people who are suffering from these autoimmune diseases, tell them not to depend, to look or to sympathize for themselves, but let them have a heart of helping others so that even the body can secrete a lot of, uh, a lot of serotonin and melatonin and 
uh, and good corticosteroids that are going to make the body to operate well. The Bible says that a merry heart doeth well like a medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth up the bones. There is just power in ministry to the people. And that is what we lack. Self must die. And then we go with the principles of health and God will store our health. May we pray to end. Father in heaven, we thank you because of the blessing you've given us in nature. We pray that you make us useful and you help us to help others. Thank you this night for this humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.